Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida visited India, France, Belgium, and the United Kingdom from January 15th to 22nd. I chose India as the first country to visit following my reappointment because of my belief that the partnership between Japan and India is a special one. Minister Kishida looked back to the path Japan and India have taken over the last 70 years since the end of World War II, and he proposed strengthening the three bridges that link the Indo-Pacific region. Minister Kishida held the Japan-India Foreign Minister's Strategic Dialogue with Foreign Minister Swaraj and discussed bilateral relations and cooperation in the international arena. He also paid a courtesy call on Prime Minister Modi. During his stay in France, Minister Kishida laid a wreath at the site of the terrorist attack and expressed solidarity with France. He also met with Foreign Minister Fabius for discussions, including the fight against terrorism. In Belgium, Minister Kishida delivered a keynote address at an international symposium and expressed his intention to advance the three pillars in order to further strengthen Japan and Europe relations building on the trust that Japan and Europe have fostered over the 70 years since the war. Minister Kishida also had the Japan-EU Foreign Ministers meeting with High Representative Mogherini. In addition, he held meetings with Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Reinders of Belgium, Foreign Minister Steinmeier of Germany, and Secretary General Stoltenberg of NATO. え、愛するによって発出された え、in the United Kingdom, Minister Kishida attended the first Japan-UK Foreign and Defense Ministers meeting, together with Defense Minister Nakatani, where the two sides reaffirmed the strengthening of cooperation in the field of security and defense. In addition, Minister Kishida had a strategic dialogue with Foreign Secretary Hammond, and held telephone talks with foreign ministers of the countries concerned, where he received pledges to provide full support to Japan for the early release of the two Japanese nationals held captive in Syria.